Hello. Hello, folks. This is Hilary from Aquafortis Astrology. So here we go with another video. And of course, we're going to talk about the crescent moon in Leo from the traditional and shamanic astrology point of view. Now, just a small explicatory note for those watching for the first time. So you can follow me in, in, in what I'll be saying. So, according to the ancient cultures, the new moon happens when the first slice of the moon is seen at the western horizon, just after sunset. The modern conception of the new moon for the ancients was actually a black moon. There was no moon in the sky, so for, it was more of an ending of a cycle and waiting and seeing what, what's happening than initiating things. So with this in mind, let's get to the new crescent moon of the month of July. Now on the 13th of July, the black moon in Cancer ends the Cancer cycle, lunar cycle. It finishes in the same lunar mansion where the cycle started with the crescent moon of the 15th of June, 2018. The lunar mansion is the ninth called Altarf, the eyes, and the image is of a man or a woman covering his her eyes. So we are literally finishing the cycle. And I find it fascinating that we are finishing a, a cycle, a lunar cycle, exactly in the same point where it started with the crescent moon. Although, good heavens, believe me, it was definitely intense. I don't know you, but my feeling about this past lunation was as if I'd been pressed through a sieve. It was definitely hard. There were many a times when I did put my hands over my eyes and my hands through my hair and prayed to have strength to keep on going wherever that going was going. And it was particularly intense, especially during the period of the full moon in Capricorn. This black moon also heralds the start of the eclipse season, which means that life seems to take us in another situation in a very quick way, or that if the events seem more fated than usual. Now, not everybody will be affected the same way. It depends a lot on your natal chart. However, at a collective level, we as living beings on Mother Earth, we will be moved to a next phase. It is also important to note that this black moon is the nearest black moon of the year, which means it affects, its effects are even stronger. This black moon contains a slight tinge of a shadow of a solar eclipse. It is a borderline partial solar eclipse. And I stress it, it's a borderline partial solar eclipse. The moon will only touch the sun peripherally, so it is not perceptible as such to the human eye, and perhaps will be seen in the very southern part of Australia. However, the fringe of darkness is present, and Pluto, the lord of darkness, challenging the sun, seems to underline and heralding the occultation and the huge transformation ahead. So in this black moon, there is an extra darkness embedded. The crescent moon will make its appearance on the 14th of July after the sun sets and starts the lunar cycle of Leo. This crescent moon finds itself, exchanges houses with the sun. The sun is in Cancer, the house of the moon, and the moon is in Leo, the house of the sun. When this happens, it means that there is a huge connection between the two planets. 
One is taking care of the other. They are supporting each other, making sure that everything is okay. The sun is making sure that the moon is getting what he needs. And the moon is making sure that the sun shines as much as she can. The moon needs to be heard, and there is no doubt about it. It might feel tender inside, but it's ready to show all the world of what is made of. There is that kind of, look at me, this is me. There is a royal demeanor that accompanies its self-centeredness. And this moon wants to have fun and gamble with life. Because after all, life is a gamble. However, it won't be easy. I know it's, it's, it's not no new news, but it won't be easy because the moon has to deal with Saturn and Pluto that are harassing the sun and Cancer, the owner of the house where the moon is. So as much as the sun wants to give the moon all he needs, the host is feeling challenged and needing to go beyond her comfort zone. So there is tension in the house. So it is like being uh, uh, at your friends, sleeping there, but your friends is being in a very crabby mood, right? So the tension is further increased by Mars, the energy that keeps us going, because now Mars is definitely retrograde. That is, he's going backwards in the zodiac and walking hand in hand with the lunar nodes for quite some time. So this increases irritability, tiredness, and whatever has been suppressed coming out for us to see. Venus, the energy of how we bring together things, has entered Virgo. Now, Venus doesn't like staying in Virgo. So we have a crabby Venus, which means our relationships will become quite heated and prone to sudden upheavals, which perhaps in the end will turn out okay, but hard, hard work and willingness to transform beyond what we think capable needs to be implemented if we want things to improve. Mercury, the energy of how we think and communicate, is now in the shadow phase. That is, in that part of the zodiac where Mercury will be going up and down. And Mercury is also slowing down his speed, which means thinking and talking is not as clear as we would like, we would like to. We must also factor in Uranus in Taurus, that now and again shakes the earth under our feet and all of a sudden we find ourselves in a completely different scenario. At least Jupiter has now turned direct, so it's giving us all a helping hand. Now, putting all this together, I know it's a lot to digest. I know it's a lot. Now, let's put it to all together. It feels as if we are in a simmering pot of misunderstandings where relationships under stress, tiredness seems the order of the day, and in general, things are getting a bit out of control. Now, the lunar mansion in which the crescent moon falls is the 11th and called Al Jubar, the mane of the lion. Now, here it gets interesting. The image is that of a man riding a lion holding a lance in his right hand and holding the ear of the lion with his left hand. The key words are lordship, mastery, numerous charisma, reverence, or worship, prestige. Now, let's sit for a moment with this image. We are riding a lion holding a lance in our right hand and stirring the lion with just holding the lion's ear in our left hand. Now, can you imagine riding a lion and telling him where would you like to go just holding his left ear? Now, if that is not mastery, I don't know what mastery is. It is mastery obtained by respect, showing courage, and the righteous assertion of authority. 
This is no power obtained by mere petty aggression, not at all, or just flying off the handle and being aggressive to others, even if we would like to. No, this is finding one's own center amidst all of this upheaval. It is being in the eye of the tornado. It is found by taking time to connect with oneself, even if we do not like what we see in ourselves. That was the Mars conjunct the South Node is showing us. Giving us, giving oneself space to listen to one's needs and voice them out with both respect to ourselves and others is needed. This relation is asking us for mastery in expressing who we are, what are our needs, without being domineering on others. And keep calm whatever happens around us. Now, you know, I don't mince words and there's no way of mincing it. These are very stressful times. But freaking out will not help. So listen to your needs. Speak your truth and ask for guidance if you need it. A great king knows, or a great queen, knows when it is time to ask for guidance. Give space to yourself. Allow space for others to be too. And should you need guidance, I'm available for private consultations. And for you who do not know about the special offer that's going on, I have a special offer on my one-to-one -one consultancy and I will write down all the details below this video. So, wishing you a blessed crescent moon in Leo and may the purification of the master start. And before you go, remember to let me know what you think. I'll read all your comments, thumbs up and share. So, bye for now. Bye-bye.